Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and today we are checking out Barbie Cutie Reveal Series 2. I have all four of these cute little dolls right here and we're gonna be opening them up and seeing what they're all about and probably to make this easier, I'm going to just open up one of these tubes on camera because they are exactly the same in terms of how many surprise bags they get. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at all four of the dolls individually. So that being said, I am super excited. I loved series one and I thought they were absolutely adorable. We do have four different animals in this series as well. We have a sloth, we have uh, some kind of bear, a unicorn, <laughs> and a llama. Some kind of bear, I'm sorry. Um, but they are very, very adorable. I guess this is like a fantasy kind of bear because it's got little rainbow stars and stuff all over it. I don't know, it looks really cute though. Yeah, I'm sure you can correct me down in the comment section. But that being said, let's go ahead and start out by opening up one of these together to get the full unboxing experience. All right, so here we go with the unicorn doll. And as you can see on the package, it's just very cute, like in insanely cute. I mean, you can see which animal matches up with which doll right there. And um, then of course, on the top, we do have just a little place where you can feel the little fluffy animal part inside. And, uh, and then we have uh, different uh, things on the side here. There's 10 surprises, there's a pet inside. These pets, I don't know why they keep giving us these pets we never asked for, but um, then we do have some color change aspects of it as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing the color change aspect on the stuffed animal part of it. I don't know if that requires just putting it in the freezer or what. We'll figure that out together, but um, let's go ahead and open this here real quick. The top of it just easily pops off. I mean, they're, they're taped obviously, but once you have that, um, it's pretty simple. So we can pull out the entire Cutie Reveal doll here and that's all that's left in the little thing there. And we have four surprise bags and I believe that's gonna be the same across all of the dolls here. And then of course, we have this right here, which is kind of a checklist of sorts. And you can see that uh, we have the service.mattel.com uh, URL. And then we have some instructions here which tell us um, about the, okay, so it's it's the eyes, I believe. I have some ice on standby right here so we can kind of speed up the color change process. But that being said, um, we're gonna go ahead and set off the, the unicorn off to the side for a second. Uh, so we can take a look at the surprise bags here. And inside of the first surprise bag, we have our pet. So a cute little, cute little sleepy unicorn. Does the unicorn have a color change component to it? I don't know, uh, we'll find out. But let's go ahead and open up the next little surprise bag here. Inside of this, we have one little skirt right here. Look at that, very cute though. Very cool, I love, I love the coloring here. It's got that kind of like pearlescent look to it. Really, really cute. Um, okay, so the next surprise bag we have here is, we have a little comb. Okay, so this comb right here, uh, we have a comb and then we have a little padded sponge on the other side and that is to actually use on the dolls to get the reveal happening. But I think I'm just gonna use an ice cube. Don't shoot me. Um, but let's go ahead and open this next thing here. Next surprise bag. we have a few accessories. So we have a pair of shoes right here, and then we have a unicorn headband. So that's basically it as far as these surprise packages go. And pretty much they're gonna be the same across the board where the comb is in one, you have an article of clothing in another, and then you have shoes and, and the pet. Like they're all kind of laid out exactly the same. So that being said, let me go ahead and open up all these other ones and I'll get all the dolls up here and we can check them out and go over them one by one. All right, so I have everything laid out on the table here as you can see, all the accessories, all of the dolls and everything and they're just looking really cute. I think maybe this is a, a cat? Oh, I don't know, I wanna say maybe maybe it's a cat, I, maybe not. You, like I said, correct me down in the comment section, please. Um, but 
That being said, we're gonna take a look at them one by one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set uh, some of these off to the side. I just wanted to give you all just kind of the look of all of the accessories laid out. And we're gonna start out with the Bearcat. Um, that is what I'm going to call it now. And so obviously this is how the doll comes inside of the packaging. And if we open it up, we can reveal the Barbie there. And her hair is just kind of curled up. It's It doesn't have product in it. It was just kind of wrapped up. So it's it's got a little memory to it that you're probably gonna have to deal with. Um, but look at her, she is beautiful. Now, as far as the face screening goes, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on each of these individually, but I will give you a nice little look at it in case you want to see and or judge for yourself. Um, we do also have like purple streaks in her hair, which look pretty cute. And then of course you can see all over this um, thing are these little, I don't know, almost like ironed on sparkly stars everywhere. Really cute though, really, really cute. And then of course you have the paws, which the paws are removable. So you can remove the paws on each of them and then um, the feet paws as well. So you can get out the Barbie there. And then basically what happens from here is you can get the Barbie into her outfit. So if we pull this off, you see there we have her nice purple top. And then this outer one right here is actually reversible. So you can not so easily uh, reverse the sleeves on this thing. And I say not so easily because they're just really, really tight. You gotta get in there and push it through with your hands. Um, but the tops are reversible, so we get a different, a whole different coat that we can put on the doll. And don't worry, I will change all of them into their second looks here um, in a little bit during the video. But when we pull off the pant legs here, let's go ahead and get these off. We can then go ahead and put the skirt that came with her on. And so we can totally transform uh, these dolls into a different look. Put the shoes on her and we can get her little headband going on and look at that. Look how cute that is. It's definitely a bear because of the ears. I gotta say, it's, it's gotta be a bear. Um, <laughs> but this is her transformation here from her costume into her outfit. And like I said, if we go ahead and put on this jacket on her. And there we go with the entire look. So she's got the jacket on and she's got the shoes on and the skirt. And so this is the transformation that can be made from these cutie reveal dolls. And I think that she looks really cute, honestly. I almost like her better in this than the bear cat costume. Um, but <laughs> I think that it's, it's a very adorable look. And of course this jacket has its own little details on the inside. Seems like a thick jacket. I mean, I'm in Arizona in the summertime, so I'm kind of judging her hardcore right now. But um, I actually am surprised by, you know, the articulation that these dolls have, even the uh, the Series 1, because definitely Mattel could have went with something, or I'm surprised they didn't go with something like the Fashionista dolls with like zero articulation. Um, but we have something that's actually pretty decent here, um, though we don't have any wrist articulation, so they're just stuck in these weird hand poses forever. But I think it looks cute nonetheless. Um, so that being said, let's take a look at each animal's costume individually, and then I'll go ahead and change them all into their final looks, and we'll take a look at them in the whole, as a whole, and we'll take a look at them as a whole, and I'll do the uh, face reveal stuff with the ice. Real quick though, in case you wanted to see the little pet, I believe these pet's eyes do change with temperature as well. Um, and they also point out on the package that you can use the head caved in as a little cute bed for the pet. So, I mean, okay, cool, but uh, again, pets we never asked for. All right, so we have our unicorn doll, and this is the one that's by far the most popular out of the entire Cutie Reveal series, um, at least uh, this series too. It seems like this one has been like sold out or hard to find um, along the way, but the costume is very cute. We have this like kind of sparkly little unicorn horn up there at the top, and some floofy green hair up there at the top as well. Very, very cute look though. And as for the accessories, what I showed you before, uh, we do have a little pet here, and we have some shoes, 
and the little unicorn headband, which we will go ahead and put on the doll. We'll get all of that situated in a little bit, um, but let's check out what, this is uh, a llama, I believe, and <laughs> it's super cute. Look at the fuzzy chest. It's got some like, the, the texture of the hair on this is kind of cool. Got a little fuzzy chest there and very, very adorable. And then we have a little pet right here, tiny little pet. And by the way, these pets do have neck articulation, which is a, an odd choice. Um, I just, again, hashtag pets we didn't ask for. Um, we do also have a, another comb as we get with all of them with a little sponge and this glittery blue skirt, as well as a pair of shoes and a headband right there. And then finally, we have the sloth, probably my favorite to be honest. Um, look at that face, like look at it. Look at that stupid face, I love it. Um, <laughs> of course we have the comb with the sponge. We have kind of a mermaid looking skirt in my opinion. Um, and then we have the cutest pet of them all, the baby sloth. Baby sloth is definitely the cutest. And then of course we have pink shoes and um, the little headband accessory here as well, which is, what is on this headband accessory? It's just got, it's got little flowers on the headband accessory um, because I guess the sloth doesn't have any ears or a horn to recreate, so they just decided to put flowers on there. That's fine. Um, so we have all of the accessories and all of the dolls out. Let's go ahead and reveal each head real quick. On the unicorn, look at her. And there you go, you can check out the face screening if you would like to. And her hair has different streaks of colors in it. Green, blue, and looks like a pink color. Very, very cute. Let's go ahead and face reveal the llama. Oh, look at that. A blue streak in her hair. And there's a look at her screening as well. There's a little bit of hair in the way there. Very, very cute. And then finally, we have the sloth. Ooh, I love her hair actually way better than any of the others. It's like this purple and like this blue and aqua color in it. And there's a look at her screening, how she is done up. Very adorable. All right, so like I said, let me get all of these girls changed into their second look with the skirts and everything like that and flipping the jackets inside out. And I'll show you them all individually. All right, I have the final look laid out here on the table. You can see all of the girls in their different outfits that they come with. And of course, we did take a look at her already, so. Same thing going on there. Uh, we also do have the unicorn that has a cute little cloud jacket underneath. And like I said, this uh, kind of pearlescent kind of skirt going on. And then she has the unicorn horn on the top and her blue shoes. Very, very adorable. Um, we do have our llama, which I think it's a llama. I don't know though what, what's going on here. This pattern is, it's really cute though. Uh, whatever it is. Some of these things are very ambiguous in my opinion. Um, and then her glitter, glittery blue skirt. I wasn't sure how that was going to fit in with the doll overall, but it actually does work pretty well, especially with the blue streak in her hair and the blue on the jacket to kind of tie it all together. The shoes, I'm not too sure of, but that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, and then we do have the sloth, which the sloth is my favorite doll and my favorite second outfit. But to be honest, if you're buying these dolls, for the second outfit, you should probably rethink that strategy. I think that um, the outfit that they come in is probably the most like high quality fabric design that Mattel has ever included in like a basic line Barbie, which is, I don't know, take that how you want and feel how you want to feel about it, but it's probably the truth. Um, that being said, <laughs> I think that her second outfit is very good. I want us to mention something about the quality of these dolls though. Like I said, the articulation is actually pretty decent and we'll go over that in a second during the articulation segment, but funny enough, their feet don't even have toes. Like look at, they're like alien feet. Like they're not even molded, there's no molded toes on there at all. And I checked on all the dolls. It's not just like one had an accident or something. 
none of them have toes. That's kind of weird in my opinion. And it seems like instead of giving us these thick, chunky brushes that nobody is going to use, how about you just give us some toes? Can, can we agree on that? Just take away the brushes or, or make them out of like thin plastic like this and just give us toes. I'll take toes over brushes any day of the week and maybe articulated wrists, but I think these are really adorable. I, I really do love this line. And we do have some color reveal stuff to take a look at, so I brought some ice with me. I'm gonna bust out an ice cube. Here's the first one, and if we put this on her nose, we can reveal a little dot for her nose, like her animal nose, and I'm gonna drip ice water all over the place, so we're gonna make this a little fast. Second nose reveal. I don't think they have, do they have other makeup or is it just their noses? I think, okay, they do have some other little makeup here. It looks like on the side, maybe a couple little dots. Yeah, a couple little dots. Nothing crazy. I mean, if you're buying these for the face reveals, again, rethink the strategy because there's not much craziness happening here. With their, with their makeup. They mostly have just little noses and maybe like a dot or two on their face. The pets, yes, the pets is what it is, not on the actual face. We have them so you can open up their eyes. And again, I'm not gonna do this on every one of them to show you an eyeball and, um, and a dot on their nose, but you kind of get the, the point here. I think that it's a really well done line, don't get me wrong, it's about, I think I want to say $25 to $30, depending on your on your location. I mean, obviously that's going to vary drastically uh, based on where you're located in the world. But I think that for the animal costume alone, it's totally worth it. Like literally for these costumes alone, 100% worth the purchase. I would purchase them again just to get the animal costumes, even if they came with no doll, because the costumes are quality and we love quality, we do. So, that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation real quick. Go ahead and set some of these off to the side. And like I said, the articulation is actually pretty good here. We do have a full 360 on the arm, and we, um, I believe, yes, we have an elbow, an elbow joint right there. And we do have some pivotability. Uh, we have no wrist articulation. Um, they can move their legs out and around so they have ball joints in the legs. And then we have knee articulation as well. And they can kick up about 90 degrees and back about 90 degrees. Look at that. So athletic. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that I think that these dolls are really adorable. Um, I just think that you know, there's some components of it that I'm like, why are we, like, why don't we have toes, but we have thick brushes? Something I would change, Mattel, just me personally, but I'm sure a lot of people out there share that same sentiment. But that being said, Barbie Cutie Reveal Series 2, I love them. And I wanna know what you think about them down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new around here and you're already subscribed or not subscribed or anything, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this come out in the near future. And if you're not already, follow me on Instagram because lots of fun stuff happening there. Uh, I really do truly appreciate all the support all of you in the community give me here. It means the absolute world to me that you would spend just a little time out of your day as we open up some new dolls and check out some fun adventures of our own. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Once again, this has been Mini Toy Adventures. My name is Dom and I'll see you later. Bye.